What's going on everyone? Darrell Hoshing Photography. I'm back with another video and I got my man here. Why don't you go introduce yourself, man? What's up? It's Justin Main, aka Fortified. You can follow me on my socials. We only got one mic. We're kind of ghetto, so I'm trying this, to... This is how we do it. <laughs> <laughs> so he is a, a Photoshop art... What do you call it? A Photoshop artist? Photoshop artist, yeah. Yeah. Digital artist, digital manipulator kind of deal. Yeah. All right. And you got to see this guy's work. Um, I've been following him for a few years. And now he just blown up. You know, he got a blue check mark by his name and everything. <laughs> yeah, that was a big day. Yeah. <laughs> so um, tell us some of the, the gigs and contracts that you've gotten through digital Photoshop art. Uh, so a lot of my stuff I do is for social media, um, doing content for ongoing content for brands. Brands need pictures and, and video every single day uh, for their socials. So I do that. And I also do um, temporary uh, things for brands such as you know uh, Black Friday's coming out so they need you know five or six pictures for that um, different campaigns like Christmas is coming out they need stuff for that so that's basically where I live that, that's my niche and uh, some of the brands I've done work for uh, Scotiabank, Crayola, Google, uh, Cadillac, Aston Martin uh, there's a few more and but he shoots with a Canon 5D Mark II <laughs> <laughs> or my Google Pixel. Oh, <laughs> straight up. Yeah, no, you know what? It's not about equipment. It's it's really not. It's about uh, the person behind the camera. So you've done ads and stuff with the Pixel? Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. A lot of I would say maybe 25% of my work is done through a phone. Wow. Now, of course, these aren't going to be blown up and be put, you know, mm. up on a billboard somewhere. These are most of my stuff is done in the social realm, which is actually becoming one of the primary sources of advertising it's for true. people. It is. Um, you know, print's almost dying. Yeah. Um, it's it's just an easier way for brands to get directly to their customers. Um, there's, you know, every time you search on Google, Timberland knows when you want boots, you're going to get an ad. Yep. Right? <laughs> and I'm going to make that ad. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we going to do today, man? What are you going to, he's going to manipulate me. Yeah. That just sounded real. <laughs> Dirty. Uh. <laughs> Don't yeah. you guys go edit that sound bite and make it all, <laughs> don't do any of that stuff. So he's going to digitally, why don't you explain what you're gonna do? So <laughs> we're gonna get a little creative, we're gonna get a little artistic, we're gonna do a couple double exposures and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have some fun and, and make some cool images. All right, and after we're done that, he's going to show you how he puts it all together. So stay tuned for that and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video, man. Go and follow him. Please do. You, if you're not following him by now, you, you're, you're not living your fullest life. <laughs> so go follow him, be blown away, and um, just enjoy the video, man. Let, let's get to work, man. Let's, let's do get it. To work, man. Come on. All right. So for the first creative shot that we're going to be doing, we found a nice long road to provide leading lines, and we also have trees up and down both sides uh, to frame the, the picture very nicely. And what we're going to do is a creative shot, which is multiple exposures. Um, one is a levitation where, where we're going to be jumping and then the second one is going to be simply handout so to appear the effect that a giant is actually holding us up. So we're gonna start with both the pictures here. And you can see they're pretty plain and washed out. So had to use Adobe Raw to bring it back in. And now I'm gonna be cutting out the hand with multiple different lasso tools. You'll see here that uh, I used the magnetic at first and now I'm gonna go through and clean it up with the polygonal lasso tool and the freeform lasso tool. And I'm just pressing shift and alt 
to adjust, to add and subtract different places on the selection. Now that I have the hand cut out and layer masked out, I can apply a layer mask. Now I'm going to start a second layer mask and just get rid of the, the edge of the finger so it appears that you're actually getting pulled up. Now keep in mind that this is sped up 800 times and adding a slight blur just because it's a little bit sharper than the rest of the image. Now I didn't like the shadow in the bottom left hand corner so what I'm going to actually do is cut out Darrell right here with the lasso tool. Get rid of the, the natural shadow using the patch tool and create my own. Make sure that it's the same color and that the angle looks consistent with the light. And there you have it, adding a filter and making it pop. So for this shot, what you're going to be doing is holding out the lens directly towards the camera. Like, like that or yeah. like that? Whichever is comfortable. Okay. And what that does is it will provide a nice depth of field where you're going to actually be blurry. And the only thing that's going to be in focus is this part. Mm. Except when we take the second exposure and you're walking down the road, and that will be inside of here. So it's like you're holding yourself walking down the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. All right, all right, let's do this. Let's do it. Now just walk towards me. Awesome. It's firing away. So what I was doing was I was looking towards the sun because I got the, that's my light source. Mm -hmm. So I turned my head that way so my face is lit and it looks kind of cool. It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be dope. Oh man, I'm so excited, man. Now starting with the second image, here are the two raw pictures. And with some raw adjustments, bring them into Photoshop and begin the cutout process once again. I always like to start with the magnetic lasso tool. It's not perfect, so you have to go in afterwards and touch up the selection and create a layer mask so I could just put it in the right spot here. Now I'm filling in the rest of the lens and bringing back the road. Now I have various different brushes. You can find them online for free. There's free online brushes everywhere. Uh, I've accumulated hundreds throughout the years. You find out what works for you. Now just getting in close and doing the final de details here and you'll see that I actually missed a little bit of the hand there. I cut it back out so I had to bring it back. Sometimes this process takes a little bit of fiddling around until you're happy. And then going in and getting the final cuts. It's like baking a cake, you know? The icing at the end really makes a difference. There you have it.